Today I'm going to learn the difference between these four notes, round, floor, sail and truncate. So let's see it. First of all, I'm going to prepare a setup, the light in the camera, the light, go to geometry notes, and we are going to create a simple text with a string to curve. So let's use this. And we want to visualize numbers. So here in a string, remember a string means text in geometry notes, let's use value to string. So now we have a value that is being converted to a string. And we can see it here, but let's select this view and let's give a mesh. So let's fill this curve. And let's select center and middle. You don't have to do this, it's just to understand how it works. And what I want is to move this here because I'm going to create a line here. So I don't want this number in the middle, more or less here. Okay, so now we have this simple setup, as you can see, where with this we can control a value and show it here. Now, what I want is to create a cube and let's join it this with join geometry. So let's use join geometry and connect it here. And I want to convert this cube in a single line, something like this. And what I want is to move this line in this axis only. So let's use set position. And we want to play with this, so let's isolate with combine. So here we can play with this axis. So now let's use a simple math node in add. And let's connect the output of this here, so we can see in real time this number. To work perfectly, let's select 0 and 0. So now this number is showing in real time the position of this line. If you want to see the decimals, because if now, if we increase any value, we cannot see decimals, then click here. So as you can see, this works perfectly. And we can see perfectly the decimals. Okay, but what happens if we select the first note round. So basically, if we start in zero and I increase this number, as you can see, the output, so the position of this line and the output of the number, it doesn't change until we reach the middle point, 0 0.5, and then it jumps to one. So basically, round means that it's rounding this number, the decimals, to the closest number, so zero or one. That's why now it's staying in number one. Here, if you want, we can delete the decimal because now we don't need it. So this is how it works. Now I have 1.3 and it shows one. But when I reach 1.5, it shows two. That's how round works. Easy, right? Perfect. Now let's jump to the next one. Floor. So floor is the same, but always is going to the lowest number. So if I have zero, it's not going to jump to one until we reach one, as you can see. So until now. So always stay really close to the lowest number. That's how it works flow. It's like deleting the decimals until this change and then it changes. A little trick that maybe will help you to remember how floor works. Thing like zero is the floor. And it will stay in the floor until it reaches the next level. So this one. So now think this is the floor. And it will stay in the floor until the next level. So this is how it works. Now let's see the other one, sail. Sail, how it works. Sail is the opposite of floor. Is that. So if floor was staying in the floor, Okay, in this line, if we increase this, now it's the opposite. If we increase this, boom, it's jumping to the sail. So until we reach the next number, it's always being in the next level, as you can see. So basically, when I have a new decimal, it jumps to the next number. That's all. So sail is the opposite of floor. And then we have truncate. So, how this works? Basically, it's the same like floor. As you can see, it stays in the floor until we reach a full number. 
right now. However, the difference is when we work with negative numbers. So if you use it in positive numbers, you will not see any difference between this and this one. However, if we select, for example, zero, and let's come back to floor, and let's decrease this. As you can see, when we work with negative numbers in floors, it jumps to the next close negative number. However, if we select truncate, is the opposite. So it's the same like floor. However, in negative, always stay close to the negative number. So until we not reach minus one, it will not jump here. As you can see, why not? However, in minus 0.9, if we select floor, it jumps to minus one. Because floor always try to be to the floor. So to the lowest number thinking in this axis. However, truncate always try to be in the closest number in these directions. So I hope this explanation helps you to understand better how these four nodes work in geometry nodes. So if you want to learn more and you like this video, give a like, subscribe and see you in the next video.